Live from the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's the Cube covering Splunk.com 2016. Brought to you by Splunk. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and John Walls. Hey, welcome back, everyone. We are live in Orlando, Florida at Splunk.com 2016, seventh year of the annual event for Splunk. This is the Cube, so the English flagship program. Go out to the events and extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier with John Wall. John, we got a lot of action going on. We got two guests this segment. We got Dell EMC. Congratulations on the merger, and we got Splunk. What's going on? Well, you know, if our interview is as good as the pre-chat segment. There's no doubt about we that. We can't say what we were just talking about. <laughs> well, we could. It's, but it's we, actually PG. It is live. NC-17, maybe. Uh, we do have Corey Metton with us, who's the uh, uh, principal systems engineer at Dell EMC, and then Simon Yep, who uh, glo does global strategic alliances at Splunk. So, gentlemen, good to see you both. Yeah. First time Cuber, I believe, and a many time Cuber. Is that right? Uh, no, actually, first time I'm both. It's just, uh, you know, I've been busy doing all kinds of fun stuff. Right. It gets confusing. And you yeah. got that cool blog going on. So you have one here. Uh, tell us about how you formalize that relationship between the two companies and how each of you is trying to leverage that now. Yeah, so it, it began uh, towards the latter half of last year, and it's, it's just been great. Uh, the, the fact that they bring a hardware solution to us, you know, we're, we're an ISV, we, we create software. Uh, it's, just, it's just a great marriage, you know, from a technology perspective. And Corian and I, we met, was it probably... Before that, I think. Yeah, it was probably, probably two years ago, yeah. Yeah, it was at Conf. And he's like, oh, I have my ninja team. We're, we're all in with Splunk. I said, okay, great. And he he would show up to things, and he was the expert on storage. He, he knew our product well, that, or actually better than some of the people that you know we were with. And we're like, okay, great. This is this is a good story. So that's that's how we met. You got to store the data somewhere. You got to be on some, yeah. some storage, BMC. Yeah, and it was, uh, so about three years ago, we made our first entry into the, the comp scene. Comp scene and we sponsored it and it was really kind of a, just an initial test like, hey, is this a market we want to go after? And, and we were blown away, right? The event is phenomenally attended, the community is uh, vibrant. And what we recognized is Splunk is growing as, inter as an enterprise app and it's consuming infrastructure at a greater and greater rate every year. I mean, you hear Godfrey talking about, you know, cloud is becoming a real thing, but absolutely still need on-premise and hybrid approaches. So we looked at it and we said, hey, there's a great story. We've, we've been an enterprise IT infrastructure company for many, many years. It's trusted by thousands of customers. Why wouldn't we bring that value and try to find a unique value differentiator for this Splunk use case? And that's really what we've been focused on. Well, and the stars are lining up, too, for your business at Dell EMC, as you guys can have a converged infrastructure and hyper-converged. The business models are also converging, too. And I think Splunk is a great example of what I call that next generation enabler. Got a great ecosystem, customers are all happy, but the, the key thing is that their company is a, is a verb. You, you just, have you splunked your data? Yeah. You splunked your car, we were talking about before you came on. So when people start splunking things yeah. uh, as a verb, it's a standard, it's like Kleenex. So, you know, you start to see that in the community. Mm -hmm. So you see new innovations happening. So I'd like for you guys to, to talk about for a minute where you see these new opportunities, because as the business converges, some would say storage is collapsing, but yet growing at a bigger scale yeah. horizontally. Software and machine learning is now coming in. Yeah. So converge infrastructure, converge businesses. Is that? Am I getting that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, part of the partnership was the whole idea of making things simple, and it actually began with with trying to do uh, something more on the converged infrastructure uh, line. And, and so, actually, at Comp, we're releasing this, this reference guide on how to deploy Splunk on top of VBlock, and it's a great story where 
everything is packaged together, you get uh, reliable, frictionless deployment. And so we're, we're really trying to make it easier for people to deploy. And then what you guys are also doing, and for the folks out there watching, you're starting to see the platform enable tools, it works well together, but now you guys are doing a lot more solutions. Yeah. Much more solution focused. Yeah. You guys have been there with the whole VCE thing yeah. on the high end, yeah. but as customers in the data center move to the cloud, they want turnkey. Yeah. So you're starting to see the kind of blending down. Yeah. How are you guys at Dell EMC going into that? Because you can, you can have a nice wave to ride with Splunk. Yeah, absolutely. And so software is right there. Yeah. So part of the big the, the big challenge for many customers is that, um, and actually uh, Doug talked about it earlier, it's data provenance. So where did the data start from, right? So if you want to have this enterprise machine data fabric, um, that data may be cloud native, and that may be a good place to, to host it because the provenance where that data began was there. But in many of our customers, that's not the case, right? They, they're not cloud native applications. They're maybe you know, looking at data that comes out of the data center that's very much in an operational context. And so we understand customers are still going to deploy Splunk in on-premise scenarios, specifically when you have things like, you know, you have data governance concerns, regulatory reasons why, and we want to be the, the essential IT infrastructure company to support that the most effective way possible, right? And give them choice. We want customers to have choice. We don't, we talk about VCE certainly in our Converge platforms. We talk about VX Rack and VX Rail. We still absolutely have storage platforms that are relevant for Splunk and deliver some really unique value props. But really what we want to do in a, as a solution kind of organization is we want to talk to customers about what their needs are. What are you trying to accomplish? What are your current challenges if you already have it? And how can we help you take advantage of this broad portfolio within Dell EMC? And then we want to do the homework behind the scenes with team, like what Simon's team does is we want to go through and validate and give customers that cloud-like experience, but with on-premise hardware, things that they know work, that we've tested and proved work, so that they can they can have that turnkey experience. We buy it, we run it, we know we're going to be successful. And you focus on the SLA or the desired so outcome. EMC always had the market leadership and drives, right? But a lot of the times, Splunk might cannibalize your business, might have a better solution, reducing the footprint. Now, Dell EMC, with that merger now complete, you got to have comfort in the fact that as the environment shifts, the game is still the same. Yeah. The game is still, you got to store the data. So it's not so much holding on to the VMAX or yeah. whatever products you have, it's kind of fitting into the new, I won't say, I guess refresh, I guess you want to look at it from a gear standpoint, but customers want solutions. They don't want to hold on to the old yeah. way per se. How do you address that with your customers? Because you have a huge install base that's going to end up migrating to more infrastructure, more cloud. Yeah. Obviously. So I think it would actually, I would approach it, and the conversation we have is, Applications are shifting from being monolithic to being these really massively parallel scale-out type applications. Um, there's our, our, you know, Gardner, or I didn't see, I can't remember who called it, but they call it the bimodal IT, right? And so we see That's that Gardner. shift, and now, Gardner, yeah, so thank you for clarifying. IDC's got the um, platform one, two, oh, yeah, three, there you go. four thing. So I'm an engineer, so I'm bad at analysts, I apologize. Just follow Wikibun.com, <laughs> you know, it's a better place to go anyway. So when I think about it in those terms, right, we, we absolutely have been a traditional IT company supporting traditional applications with VMAX and others. In this new world, the, the applications are designed in a different way. They're designed to be massively parallel, meaning I should be able to scale linearly by using commodity hardware, and that's good. But at some point, because an application really becomes critical, and we've seen this, not only Splunk experiencing it, but even the folks in the Hadoop ecosystem are seeing it where these are no longer side projects that have a small use case. They're becoming mission critical, and when they become mission critical, you have to apply that enterprise IT governance and process to well, it. Real time is a great example. Splunk enables a lot more data to be surfaced and, and, and put in front of apps and other environments. Yeah. Because Splunk, something over here, move that data quickly out of there and the time it would have take to get there. I mean, that's essentially the value. Yeah. Now, I got to ask the Splunk side of the equation. This is an opportunity for your ecosystem to then partnerships to grow. What's the update? How are you guys doing? Obviously, the news this week is two big investments in yeah. some startups. It's yeah. showing some nice leg on the, on the partnerships, uh, strategic partnerships. What's going on in the ecosystem? Obviously, EMC is a big player in that, but what's the ecosystem look like? What's the plans? Well, I think, you know, for us, uh, we've always been historically agnostic as far as when we recommend what you should deploy to. And we, we've always sold software. I mean, I, I've been at Splunk for over eight years, and, and it's always been, well, we'll sell you software, but maybe go buy whatever meets this spec. And so the, the reality is that with these partnerships, like with Dell EMC, what we can do is we can, we can build really great uh, reference material like this reference guide that we built out. We actually have another one that's on VXRack, VXRail, 
and it makes life so much easier for, for that customer or for partners like Accenture that want to deploy it. And so uh, I see it as, well, down the road, we may be able to partner with other people you know, in, in a similar fashion. So this just- Well, you're partner this, friendly, yeah. your software. Yeah, right? absolutely. So you plug into anyone who wants to Splunk stuff. Yeah. Right? I mean, and I would actually say it's funny because uh, one of the things I took from Doug's talk this morning was, you know, he talks about the partner ecosystem being critical to their growth. And, and that's one, right? We want to help and our alliance relationship allows us to go out and actually sell Splunk uh, via the EMC and Dell sales channels, right? So that's a good thing because we're expanding scale, which goes to the whole growth factor. But it also allows customers to have more confidence in solutions, right? And that they can deliver effectively. Um, and then I also like the fact that it gives us the chance to actually do some things, not just, hey, how do you run Splunk on Dell and EMC hardware effectively, but how do you derive value from your Dell and EMC equipment using Splunk? So we've made some pretty massive investments over the last year to actually develop applications and the technology add-ons to make it super simple yeah. to onboard data from these platforms. You think, you know how big our install base is from VNX or VMAX. We're building applications that make it super simple to pull data from those platforms, derive value from it in Splunk very, very quickly by having these applications that present meaningful reporting. But then it gives the customer the ability to say, hey, here's a great starting point for looking at this data. How do I continue to evolve and correlate it against other data sources? And, yeah, and the cultural uh, aspect of your customers is interesting because you have all the guys that are running the gear and running the shop on the operations side, and every year Splunk um, customers are becoming much more higher from, I'm not sure how to say it, higher visibility in the organizations because they have such a case of the kingdom. So you start to see the, the intersection of two worlds coming together, right? Yeah. You see the higher prominence of your Splunk customers, and, and yeah, you guys are giving them more power. Yeah, I think, More credit I, in the organization. Well, I think you pointed out something that's really important with the fact that the data collection from the infrastructure itself, because we partner with them and they've built these, these wonderful apps, it allows Splunk to work even better across the whole infrastructure. And then, you know, we talked today about uh, our IT service intelligence offering. Well, there are modules that go in there that will natively collect data from uh, products like theirs, and so that really opens up the ecosystem. Well, and also for EMC as well, it gives EMC access to a very robust uh, um, and loyal ecosystem in the software world. Yeah. And EMC, I won't say is the biggest community, but they're loyal as hell too. Uh, yeah. you know, so you have a lot of loyalty on both sides, yeah. and this one's growing, you guys are converging in, so yeah. good win-win. Yeah, it's a great one, and actually one of the, the fun things that happened over the last couple of years is we, uh, we recognized that Splunk as a use case was growing, and EMC and Dell like to be, you know, we're very much engineering-led, so we actually took the opportunity to go into our pre-sales uh, engineering teams and build out some capabilities, and we call it the Dell EMC Splunk Ninjas. And so we've actually taken 40 SCs from around the globe, and we've trained them the same way Splunk trains their SCs. So they have an SC1, an SC2, an SC3 certification. We're putting our guys and gals through the same thing, so that when customers re realize that, hey, there's a good chance for me to bring Splunk and Dell EMC together in a conversation to really build something meaningful, I don't want our sales teams and engineering teams in the field not to know the language of Splunk, not to know the right questions to ask. So we've been really diligent about training folks and, and it's been really fun to see because when you talk about the community, the folks on that team are super engaged. Like the, I can't say enough good things about well, the engineering team. Well, they cross pollinate. Well, yeah. you got some here. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, they're all around here. We got, yeah. So there's about 20 of them A dozen or so, yeah. Yeah, there's about 20 so. It's, uh, and they're, they're engaged. They're some of the best SEs from the company and they do great work. And they're helping us do things like the validations and testing that we're doing with the Splunk team. So they're yeah. super, super good dudes. I mean, you guys both have uh, customers that run stuff. I mean, you're running yeah. the storage and the infrastructure, running now Splunk, you're running the data. Again, like air traffic control, we had Gatwick on earlier. This is a good, good relationship. Congratulations and thanks Thank for you. sharing yeah. and creating the update. Splunk doing the partnerships. EMC, Dell EMC. Congratulations on the merger, by the way. Thank you. I texted Michael Dell, congratulations. He's all happy. So. <laughs> this is theCUBE. You're watching live in Orlando for .com 2016. We've got EM, Dell EMC here with Splunk inside theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with John Walls. We'll be right back.